All right, welcome back, everyone. Um, another update for you guys. So as you guys can see, I am down 152 for today, or 146 now. Uh, for the week, I am down 151. For the month, down 300. The past three months, I'm up 905. The one-year mark, 8604. And overall, since I started up uh, 7412. Uh, let's see here. So most of my holdings, um, if you guys are new, are for uh, dividend type uh, income, uh, dividend stocks, I guess, dividend paying stocks. And um, that's what I'm trying to build. Uh, the goal is to try to hit $100 per month. Um, I am ranging from 30s to, I think, 50s, almost 60s, I think. So some of the companies I do hold, for example, Tesla, obviously they don't pay a dividend but um i like them i am up um about a thousand dollars it's been going down today so average cost 566 so um let's take a look at what the dividends that have been coming in here so we'll go to dividends here uh for the month of may uh down at the bottom there is at&t 3744 then Verizon also paid 816. AGNC monthly paying um, is going to pay. It's pending. EPD. Main Street Capital. AVV is paying. Realty Income. STAG. PSEC. All of these are monthlies except AVV and uh, EPD, I think. Um, PSEC and uh, what's, this? what's this one? Oh, yeah, of course. That's Intel. Intel's paying two. I have six shares, 209. And Pfizer is paying $1.56. Um, so, as you guys can see, money's going to come in for this month. There's going to be other ones that are going to pop in there as the time goes by. Um, they're not showing yet. So, this week, I figured we'll buy into a newer um, holding here. Um, I do have small amounts of a bunch of companies. I need to consolidate a little bit, but I like the diversity I have. So, we're going to buy uh, this this fund here what they do is they sell covered calls so they have a bunch of uh companies they own and they sell covered calls and on the covered calls they pay uh dividends and the dividend i think it's around 22 cents per month which is pretty high for the price um it is a risky uh holding but i like the monthly and um they keep selling covered calls and they keep making money for now so it's going to be 22 24 so let's take a look here we're going to buy and yeah, we'll, we'll buy five shares it's a little bit over a hundred i try to put in a hundred dollars a week so let's see here so five shares and uh there we go let's take a look all right, five shares of QYLD, monthly paying, and uh, that should increase our total uh, monthly income coming in for uh, the dividend. So, like I said, the goal is 100 bucks. and uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are doing. I will uh, talk to you guys in the next video. Um, I did mention um, on the last video, I wanted to say that, yes, I'm thinking of moving out of Robinhood. I'm waiting for Fidelity to change their app so it's more user-friendly. I do have a Fidelity account as well. I will show you guys if I do move that over to Fidelity, um, the Robinhood account, that's going to uh, put both accounts together and I will show you what's, what's in there. So um, if you guys need anything as far as questions, please put them in the comments. Please consider subscribing and I will talk to you guys on the next video. Thanks.